I saw this YouTube clip the other day. It really made me laugh. Let me tell you what happens. Just Maybe you've seen it yourselves. Um, it starts off somewhere, I think probably in the United States. I don't know exactly where, but it's a really beautiful sunny day. And there's five people, and they're standing beside a swimming pool. Now what do you think they're wearing? What do you think they're wearing? A swimming costume. You see a bathing suit. Bikini. What else? What do men wear? Trunks. Trunks, shorts, speedos, etc. That's what you'd expect, wouldn't you? But in actual fact, they're not wearing any of these things at all. Wearing anything, or what? Well, <laughs> no, they are. <laughs> this is not a nudist. This is not a nudist camp. There's five people, two women, and three men. I'm going to tell you what they're wearing. Two of the men are wearing smart, dark suits. One of the women is wearing a long, yellow dress and she's holding a bunch of flowers. coconuts oh. no. a bunch of flowers. keys no 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 keys no a bunch of flowers flowers bananas a bunch of flowers she's holding a bunch of flowers yes I think so she's holding a bunch of flowers the fourth person the other girl, woman, is wearing a long white dress. What's happening here? A wedding. Yes, it's a wedding. Mm -hmm. What is the fifth person wearing? Three. Yes, and what's, what's he or she wearing? Oh, yeah. Another suit or a gown. Yeah. Can you identify the five people? We've already got the priest. Who else is here? The bride. The bride. The bride. The bride. The bridegroom. Bridesmaid. 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 Okay, now we usually associate drills with chunks of language, don't we? But I like using drills, lexical drills, just listing words or phrases. So let's have a lexical drill. Let's have bride and groom, best man, bridesmaid. Don't forget the priest, every bride and groom. Best man, bridesmaid. Don't forget the priest, bride and groom. Best man, bridesmaid. And don't forget the priest. Okay, that's just it's just you know taking one step further, isn't it? Because we could elicit all of those individuals that we associate with weddings, bridesmaid, best man, etc. We write them on the board, and we move on. But just this way, just gives you that extra little stage, an opportunity to produce the language and hopefully take you one step closer to acquiring it. Okay, so excellent. We've identified the people, we've identified what's happening. Now, which part of the wedding is this? This is the part where they are taking their vows. They are taking their vows. Now, what does that mean? When you take your vows, what do you say? You say, I will, or I do, or I do, or I will, or I do. I was going to say, I think you might have said, I won't. I won't. <laughs> Who's married here? Who has been married the longest here? Who has been married the longest? Put your hand up if you think, you've, you think you've been, you're, you're the most recently married person in the room. Put your hand up. When did you get married? In July. July. Congratulations. Do, you, do we like weddings? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Is there anyone here who doesn't like weddings? Everybody likes weddings. Is that because there's free food? <laughs> <laughs> Two questions for you. One question for you. What do you need when you take your vows? Right, here's two questions. Who wears the rings and who carries the rings? 
Who wears the wings? Exactly. Who carries the wings? Exactly. Yeah. So we need the best man at this point. So, wedding vows. I do, or I will. I can't remember. I will, or I do. Best man rings. This is what happens. The best man steps forward. He's carrying the rings. At this moment, disaster. What do you think happens? Tell me, what do you think happens? See that again? The best man has forgotten the rings. That's an excellent guess. Unfortunately, that's very cold. It's not quite what happens. What do you think happens? The best man drops the rings. Where? Okay, now that's very possible. It's very possible that's what happens. So it's getting a little bit warmer, but it's not actually the most important thing that happens. Say that again. Who? The best man. Ah, the best man, okay. You, you've got one of the parts very, very, you've got it spot on. You've got it right. So it's getting a little bit warm. Okay. The priest falls into the pool. Okay, the priest falls into the pool. A little bit hotter. Hotter. Sorry? The bright. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we do know there is somebody who's seen the clip. Put your hand up if you've seen the clip. Okay, well, you're, you're exempt from this part. <laughs> Where are we? Another another. Idea. We said, okay, we've got falling into the pool is the idea. Who? Another opportunity to go through all the different people. Yes. Okay, so, so far, can you recap what we got what happens? The bride and the priest fall into the pool. Everybody, the bride and the priest fall into the pool. Yes, but why? Do they just decide to fall into the pool? What happens? What's the incident that causes them to fall into the pool? What happens? The best man drops the rings and they try to catch them. Okay, that's a great guess. I'm <laughs> sorry. The dog rushes in and knocks them oh, flat. That's <laughs> <great. laughs> Make it hotter. Goodness me. Okay, what's this action? What's this working on? Somebody trip. 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 Plus prepositional trip. Preposition. Trip. Over. Okay. So what happens here? That's my clue. And there's no more clues there. What happens? What happens? Best man steps forward. Trips over. And... Knocks. Knocks. <laughs> Priest and the bride. Priest. Priest. And the bride. Bride. Preposition. Into, into, into the pool. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so let's do this again. The best man trips over, and let's change it to lower, higher frequency, knocks over. Pushes. Pushes the bride and the priest into the pool. I want you to write that down, everybody. The best man trips over, you don't have to, and pushes <laughs> the bride and the groom into the pool. Okay, let me show you. So you think it was set up? Yeah. What would be the incentives, the motivation to set up a clip like this? Why would people want to do that? There's actually a lot at stake. If you can create a clip like this that's going to get popular and go viral, you're going to generate income and earn money from it. So there's a lot of motivation and incentive for people out there to be fooling you. And it's another good way, it's a great issue to bring into the classroom. We could use this as an issue to generate more discussion, potentially. So just a few things to say about that activity. The first thing is that you are using yourself, you are delivering the material in the way that an actor delivers his lines or her lines, not the way a postman delivers letters which is often the way we, we tend to do things. 
you're completely denying your learners the picture, but you're turning the whole clip into a communicative experience here. Really, really importantly, you're deciding what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. Or rather, in this case, what you're going to ask. What questions you can put back to your, your class. These are just a few of them, not all of them.